Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Kol Halal Yamla Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barakha Hakodash, <clears throat> which means all praises to Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bahasham means in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of His only begotten Son, who the world only called Jesus Christ. Barakha Hakodash means in the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. The only way you can worship the Father and the Son. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel and truth and in sincerity, always in charity. And um, as you can see, the title of the lesson, you know, is entitled YOP, Your Prophecy. You know, uh, uh, um, and that's exactly what we're going to go into. You know, matter of fact, we're going to start off with this right here. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28. And let's start at seven. It says, Nevertheless, hear thou now this word that I speak in thy ears and in the ears of all the people. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesy both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. The prophet which prophesieth of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah have truly sent him and vice versa. The same as when when the prophet prophesy of destruction and it cometh, when the prophet prophesy of pestilence, when it prophesy when he prophesieth of war and of evil, when those things come, you know that 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 that, that man is sent by Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. You see, just like in the days of Samuel, matter of fact. This is the book of 1 Samuel 3 and 19. It says, And Samuel grew, and Yahweh Basham Yahusha was with him, and did let none of his words fall to the ground. And that means what? The things that Samuel prophesied, the things that Samuel spoke, those things came to pass. And it's the same thing that's happening in the times that we're living in today. The prophets who are out in the highways and hedges who are telling you that these things is happening, those men are being found faithful, man, as we speak. This is the book of Ezekiel. The 33rd chapter. And get straight to the last verse. This verse 33. And when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come. What? What come to pass, man? The different uh, uh, pestilences, the different um, 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 earthquakes, the different wars, the different um, 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 evils that the prophet's been speaking about. When these things come to pass and lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them. You see, because the Lord is performing the counsel of his messengers. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 44. And let's start at verse 24. Thus saith Yahweh Basham Yahushai, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee from the womb, I am Yahweh that maketh all things, that stretcheth forth the heavens alone, that spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. That frustrateth the tokens of the liars and maketh the diviners mad that turneth wise men backward and maketh their knowledge foolish. And that's what's happening through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah with us out in the highways and hedges. The Lord said that he will give us a mouth that no man would be able to gain, say, nor resist. You see, that's why he said, uh, uh, I have chosen the foolish things to confound the wise. And that's what we're doing through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. And this is how the Lord is turning back the knowledge of the wise men or, or, or making their knowledge foolish, as we just read in verse 25. This is verse 26 now. That confirmeth the word of his servant and performeth the counsel of his messengers that saith to Jerusalem, thou shalt be inhabited into the cities of Judah. Ye shall be built and I will raise up the decayed places thereof. You see? So that word confirmeth when you go into it, quam, which means rise, stand up. Now, didn't we read in, 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 in Samuel, it says that none of the words of Samuel fell to the ground, meaning what? That those words were confirmed, the things that he was speaking. It's the same thing as us, man. The Lord is confirming. He's making rise. He's making happen uh, uh, these words. And he performeth, right? That word performeth, shalom. He's performing um, to make good, to complete, to perform. Right. The words of his messengers, man, which goes into. Let's get um the book of Sirach, chapter 36. And let's read verse 14. It says, fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. And that's what's taking place now. You know what? In Proverbs, the first chapter, the Lord said, I will make known my words unto you. Right. And that's what's happening with the prophets out in the highways and hedges. Habakkuk, the second chapter, stand upon the watch. 
And it says, uh, 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 make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it. You see? Verse 14. Fill Zion with thy unspeakable oracles and thy people with thy glory. Give testimony unto those that thou hast possessed from the beginning and raise up prophets that have been in thy name. The spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. So, this, so the same prophets in the ancient world, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Daniel, those men are back today standing in their lot as it is written in Daniel, the 12th chapter, the last verse. Verse 16, reward them that wait for thee and let thy prophets be found faithful. And that's what's happening throughout the earth, man. The prophecy of Yahweh Basham Yahusha is being found faithful. Look at these things that's taking place throughout the world. Now, you got um, as it says, buildings in downtown Miami evacuated. Buildings in downtown Miami shake as impact from Caribbean earthquake is felt here, man. That's earthquakes in diverse places. Let's grab that real quick. This is the book of uh. Matthew, the 24th chapter. And let's start at the third verse. And it says, as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world, the end of this age, as it is written in the book of second edges, the sixth chapter. It says, matter of fact, let me grab that. Let me grab that, you know, because we're living in exciting times, man. This is the book of second edges, chapter six. And let's start at seven. It says, then answered I and said, what shall be the parting of sunder of the times? Meaning what? What shall be the end of these ages, man? This is what Ezra is asking. Or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world, is the end of this age. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. You see, and that's the same question that the uh, uh, the disciples, the apostles were asking Yahweh Shai and of the end of the age. Right. As you go into it, Eon, the end of this age, verse four, and Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, guys out there talking about they're coming in the name of Yahweh Shai. Right. You got even uh, actual bug outs out there that's talking about they is uh, uh, the Messiah. But verse six, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. So this is just the beginning of sorrows as Yahweh Shah is going to explain as we further read for a nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. Now, what are we seeing taking place in the earth, man? Tensions rising with Iran, with uh, um, um, uh, America, with with with, with uh, uh, Russia and Turkey and Syria and Korea, right? And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And it spoke of, and it says pestilence. What's taking place over in Wuhan, China, man? And now they're saying that the thing now is spreading all over the earth. There was an article that said over five million people left Wuhan, China, man. So where there's there's five million people that that that, that possibly possibly could be contaminated that's spreading it out uh, uh, across the earth, man. See, these are pestilences. You understand? And as it says in di in earthquakes in diverse places. Now, you got the coronavirus death toll. The coronavirus death toll spikes in China as U.S. plans to evacuate citizens from epicenter. You know. And there's uh, uh, one article that I had read that said that it doubled the uh, the the uh, the uh, the um the number of people that was infected doubled within the last 24 hours, man. So these these, these so these are all what prophecies, you know? Look at the check this. This is is heavy rains and floods leave dozens dead in southeastern Brazil. And this all goes back to, to prophecy once again. This is verse eight. All these are the beginning of sorrows, man. So from there, let's get the book of Isaiah. Twenty nine and six, because it said heavy rains killed those people in Brazil, right? This is Isaiah twenty nine and six. It says thou shalt be visited of Yahweh Basham, Yahusha, Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake ooh, and great noise with storm and tempest in the flame of devouring fire. So what do, what do we just see? That's storm and tempest right here, man. Heavy rains and floods leave dozens dead in, in, in southeastern Brazil, right? And it said in the flame of devouring fire, what was going on over in Australia a, a couple weeks back? 
that fire that was blazing that that that's, uh, uh, that reportedly killed over a, a, a billion animals, man. So this is this is in, in indeed the year of prophecy. You see, and that's why we started with Ezekiel the thirty third chapter. You know, where well, we started in Jeremiah twenty eight, but we hit those 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 first couple of precepts showing that 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 the prophets are here on this earth today, man. And more specifically, the prophets are are are, are the apostles of in in, in 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 elders and men of great millstone, man. And it's being known, it's being shown. Why? Because the Lord's prophets are being found faithful. The Lord is performing the counsel of his messengers. Then uh, uh, shall it be known that they were sent from the Lord, man. You see? But that ain't it, though. That ain't it. You go to earthquakes. Now, I just typed in earthquakes today. Now, of course, they got the, uh, you know, an hour ago, powerful 7.7 .7 earthquake strikes in Caribbean between Cuba and Jamaica. Powerful earthquake hits between Cuba and Jamaica. And that's what uh, 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 Miami was feeling the effects of this earthquake that's hit them. And now they're saying that it is a, it's a tsunami warning uh, uh, for those surrounding areas, man. You see that, that that goes back into a tempest as well. Matter of fact, that goes into what? Uh, not that, not that. Let's get uh, Luke. Let's get the book of Luke, chapter 21. And let's start at 25. And it says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. Now, what's that? That's your lunar eclipses. That's your solar eclipses. That's your uh, uh, so-called uh, fallen stars or, or comets, what they call them, man. These are all signs, man. And upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity. That's what we see in taking place. These different uproars, these different riots, these different um, 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 insurrections in these different countries around the world. The sea and the waves roaring that goes back to what your tsunamis that goes back into your tidal waves that goes into your hurricanes. You see men's hearts failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the son of man coming in a cloud with great power and with power and great glory. And when these things begin to come to pass and look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh, man. So we're living in exciting times, man, as it is written in wisdom of Solomon, the 12th chapter. Matter of fact, let me get that. This is the book of uh, wisdom of Solomon. Chapter 12. And 17. It says. For when men will not believe that thought out of a full power, right? When guys didn't believe these things that the, that, that the apostles and elders and men of great millstone were saying, right? Thou showest thy strength. The Lord started to make things happen. He started to perform the, the message uh, of his counselors, man, or the counsel of his messengers. <laughs> Had that backwards. And among them that know it, among the prophets that know it, thou makest their boldness manifest, man. So our boldness, our confidence, right, should be getting more open, more, more strong. Our faith should be building day by day as we see these things taking place over the earth. This is the book of Second Edris, chapter 8. And verse 61, it says, and therefore is my judgment now at hand. And we see it taking place, man. We see the Lord uh, 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 visiting the place where he, which, which he made. Verse 62, th these things have I not showed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. Then answered I and said, that's Amos 3 and 7, the Lord revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. So we are blessed to understand the things that we understand, to be able to see the things that we see. As Yahweh Shah said, blessed are your eyes, blessed are your ears. It says, verse 63, behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of wonders which thou will begin to do in the last times. But at what time thou hast not showed me? So Ezra is like, look, okay, Lord, you showed me what you're going to do at the end. But you didn't show me when the end is. Let's go into the ninth chapter. He answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself. 
And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So how do we measure the time? By the prophecies. It's verse 3. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then thou then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. You see? Even from the beginning. Because the Lord said what? Let's grab this. What is that? Is it Isaiah 42 or 46? I know it's one in 42, 46, and 48. But uh let's start with this. Um, uh, this is not the one, but I'll read it. This is uh, Isaiah 42 and 9. Behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. And how he do that? Through the prophets, man. And that's how it's known that that, that those men that are speaking uh, those things are truly sent from Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah because the Lord are bringing uh, those things to pass that those men are speaking. You see? And it says that before the Lord bring it to pass, he tell you of them. He tell you through the prophets, right? So the one I was looking for uh, must be the 46th chapter. This is uh, Isaiah 46 and 8. Remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am the Most High and there is none else. I am the power and there was none like me. Declare, yep, this is the one. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. And that's what's taking place in the earth. Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai is performing his will. And he's doing that through the mouth of his prophets, man. You see? So, man, we living in exciting times, man. You know, YOP, the year of prophecy, you know. Then shall it be known there was a prophet amongst you. So, Lord willing, I pray that was edifying to Wadi Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shai, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. I give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Baruch HaKadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all you brothers preaching the gospel in truth and in sincerity, always in charity. Shalom.